Welcome to another episode of Steamy. This is Habitica, and in this tutorial video, you are learning the most important functions of this open source application. Let's get started, shall we? First, we see that on Habitica, you can create yourself an avatar, just like in a role play game, with levels classes, health, and experience. If you do your tasks that you set up yourself, you will earn experience and items. And if you don't do them, you will lose health and eventually die and lose items that you have acquired previously. Of course, you can then continue to play. There we have the tasks and this is the most important part of Habitica because it is a habit tracker. You can set up new habits by clicking here on this gray option field and type in anything you like and it will appear here on the bottom list where you can drag and drop it in the position as you like. You can open the edit function by clicking here and get a much more detailed option menu here for this particular habit. You can give it a title and some notes. You can activate and deactivate whether, whether you want to use it as a positive or a negative habit. So for example, if you want to stop a negative habit and whenever you do it, you can then click on minus and receive a basically pain reward for yourself where you lose some health for not following to uh, trying to stop that habit. Below you have the difficulty, trivial, easy, medium and hard, where you can set up how much experience and items you might gain from achieving this goal here. Then you have tags that you can set up for yourself, for example, for the parts of the day when you want to do this particular habit or anything else. Also, you can reset a streak every day, week or month. Next to it, you have the dailies. And here, this is very interesting. You can put in everything that you have to do on a daily basis. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so a new daily can be set up exactly like a new habit. And whenever you are finishing it, you can just check it off like this and it will add a new counter to your streak that you see here in the corner. The dailies are also those that when you don't finish them, they will hurt your health bar at the end of the day. So be very careful how many you put in here only do as many as you can actually manage within a day. And then next to it, we have the to-do field with a lot of different tasks that don't have a specific timer, but they can also get a specific one if you wish so by going to this field here, due date, and give it the specific date. Further, we have the rewards, and this is very interesting since you are earning gold for all the habits that you are checking off, you can invest that into equipment in form of weapons and gear and potions and many other things that you can buy for yourself. Also, you can set up your own rewards like this one here, for example, watch a TV episode for 100 gold. Further, you have a lot of features here, like the inventory, where you find items. Items are often eggs that can be hatched with a hatching potion into pets. Also, you need then food to grow those pets into mounts. You can get equipment for your character. Like I said, you can buy that in form of armor or equipment or something to wear for the character. And we have the stable where we find all the pets that have been either hatched out of an egg or given as a reward for fulfilling a quest. 
The pets then are grown into mounts and you can then activate a mount by just clicking on it and then you will see it here on the avatar icon. Actually in this case this was a pet not a mount. Let's scroll a little bit deeper. Here let's take the big woolly mammoth mount and now we have the two mammoths here on top of each other. So this is a little bit easier to see here. All right, next we have the shops where we have the marketplace where you can buy new potions and all kinds of different items, for example, eggs for new pets. Then we have the quests where you can buy quests for either crystals or gold. And this is very interesting part of the game of Habitica. With the quests, you can then, in a party, but also alone, battle monsters. And these monsters have a lot of health, and by achieving your own tasks, by doing your own habits, you will be able to do damage to these monsters, and then eventually, after a certain time, they will be defeated. But you will also get extra damage yourself if you're not doing some of your daily tasks. So be very careful here. And this is most fun when you play with other people, which you can invite to your party. And then we have the seasonal shop. And the seasonal shop is, well, mostly armor and equipment, depending on the different seasons of the year. And we have the time traveler shop with past items that um, need to be activated here with certain other items. Then, like I mentioned, you can create your own party. Here we have, for example, the DTubers, Habitica group, and you can invite other people to it. Currently, there's just one in this particular group here. And by clicking on invite, you can invite other people in it. You can also start a quest from here and then together battle these mon monsters that I just mentioned before and also create challenges for your group which can then be fulfilled together or individually depending on the challenges. Further we have guilds and guilds are like a meta version of the party here you can have many more people who are all following a loose or more dense goal together which is very interesting part of the game as well and of course you can also create your own groups and this is a feature we will look more deeply into a, in a future video and we will skip this here for now and also a very popular feature are the challenges, which you can play with a lot of people beyond your party. So all in all, this is Habitica, which will allow you to enhance yourself by playing with other people together a role play game that allows you doing whatever you want to do because you can fill in the habits and the dailies and to-dos that you actually really need to do. So this is fantastic in order to grow. I hope you like this and stay tuned for a future episode explaining the more detailed features of Habitica. That's it for today and I talk to you very soon.